Finally, in this lecture, let's also make the app component, which is the root component of our Angular application, a standalone component. So let's go to VS Code. And here I am in the app component.ts file, and there we have our app component. Now, in order to convert this app component to a standalone component, again, first we need to add this standalone property and we need to set it to true. This is the first step. In the second step, we need to go to app module.ts where we are declaring this app component. So we need to remove it from the declarations array. Now, currently, I will not remove this import statement because we are using this app component in this bootstrap array. So let's keep it for now. Let's save the changes in this file. And now in the app component, so if I open app component.html, there you will notice that we are using this home component. We are using the select of the home component. So in the app component, we also want to use home component. So currently what we are doing is currently we are importing the home component inside the import array of this ng module. But since we are only going to use this home component in one component inside this app component, we are not using it anywhere else. And since the home component is also a standalone component, and now this app component is also a standalone component, what we can do is we can simply import this home component inside this app component itself. We don't need to import it here because anyway, we are going to use this home component only inside this app component. We are not using it anywhere else. So here I'll add the imports array and there let's add home component. Let's import home component. Let's save this file and let's remove this home component from here as well. And finally, since this app component is now a standalone component and we have removed it from the declarations array, Angular does not know about that app component now. So what we need to do is somehow we need to tell Angular about the existence of the app component. Okay, because we are not adding it inside the declarations array. So Angular will not know about this app component. So what we will do is we will simply import that app component here. So we are adding it in the imports array. Let's save the changes and let's go to our application. And here you will see that we have an error and the error says app component class is a standalone component, which cannot be used in the ng module dot bootstrap array. So since app component is a standalone component, we cannot use it inside the bootstrap array. Currently, we are using it inside the bootstrap array, but we cannot use it because it is a standalone component. So let's also remove it from here. Let's save the changes. And also let's remove this import statement of home component because now we are not using this home component inside this file. Let's save the changes again and let's go back to our application. And you will see that we have some error here and nothing is being rendered in the web page. Now, why is that? That's because currently what is happening is if we go to our main file, let me collapse all this. Okay, so let's go to main.ts. And there, what we are doing, we are bootstrapping the app module. Okay, so Angular will know about this app module. It will go to app module. So let's go to app module here. And there, in the app module, we are not bootstrapping any component. We don't have any root component. We also don't have any component in the declarations array. So now Angular does not know what to render. Because now, in the app module, it is not finding any component which it needs to bootstrap. We have removed the app module from the bootstrap array. So Angular does not know what component to bootstrap, what component to load initially, which component should be rendered first, which is the root component. Angular does not know about that. And that's why it is not rendering anything in the web page. Now, what we need to do now is since we cannot bootstrap a standalone component using this bootstrap array, in the main.ts, instead of bootstrapping the app module file, we will simply bootstrap the app component. Now, how can we do that? For that, let's remove all this code from here. 
and what we will do is we will simply say bootstrap application so this is a function and in order to use this function we need to import it from angular slash platform browser and using this function we are going to bootstrap app component okay and we can remove this import statement as well as this import statement so now we are directly bootstrapping app component we are not bootstrapping any module class we are bootstrapping a component class we are bootstrapping app component so whenever this angular application will run first it will find this app component and everything else will then start from there let's save the changes now let's go to our application and now you will notice that we don't have any error and everything is working as expected let's also check this service so this service is also working as expected the directive is also rendered here okay and other components are also rendered here so everything is working as expected and now we can go back we can go to app module.ts we don't need to add this app component anymore in the import array because now we are directly bootstrapping the app component and we don't need this browser module also here why because it will be automatically made available by this bootstrap application function so we don't need to explicitly import it in the module file when we are using this bootstrap application in order to bootstrap this app component it will automatically make this browser module available for this angle application so we can also remove it from here if i save the changes and if we go back our application should still be working we should not have any error as you can see let's also check the services so it is still working and now you can see that in this app module file we do not have anything we don't have anything in the declarations array we don't have anything in the imports array we don't have anything in the providers array or bootstrap array so now in this app module we don't have anything of use so we can simply get rid of this app module file i can go ahead and i can delete this app module file okay so now we don't have any app module file in our angular application we don't have any module file now in our angular application but our angular application should still be working without any errors and this is the main purpose of a standalone component using standalone component feature we basically get rid of any ng module which we have in our angular application we don't need to use any boilerplate codes okay so standalone components allows us to create components without declaring them in any ng module without any boilerplate code and that's what we learned in the very first lecture of this section so now this application is now a standalone angular application with no ng module in it anywhere now in the next lecture let's have a look at how we can use services with standalone components this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day